It's Monday, June 19th, and if you're shopping for a new phone, you might want to check out the LG G6. We reviewed it and liked it a lot, giving it an Editor's Choice Award, but our nitpicks included subpar audio performance, no wireless charging, and not enough internal memory. They must have been listening because LG just rolled out the G6 Plus with 128 gigs of memory and a built-in DAC for better audio. It even comes with a set of Bang & Olufsen Play headphones. That looks pretty sweet. There's also two new colors. If you already have a G6, good news. A future software update will include facial recognition to unlock your phone and improved battery life through a low power consumption program. Features we already liked, such as the dual lens camera and IP68 waterproofing, still come standard. No prices have been announced and you can get more details on the LG G6 Plus at the link. VR is great fun, but in truth, it's still in its very early stages of development. And the one thing that's a focus for anyone making the headset hardware is image resolution. Users are still dealing with what's affectionately known as the screen door effect. It's that crosshatch pixel pattern in the display that's as annoying as it sounds. Several companies, well, everyone actually, are working to improve the situation, but the higher the res, the more data you have to pump into the headset to make the image clear, and VR PCs are already stressed as it is just to power the current headsets. Our friends at TechCrunch have looked into a couple of efforts to bridge the gap, and it's no easy feat, with things like eye tracking and foveated rendering and micro OLED tech all in the mix. Hit the link to get the full scoop on what could be the first real steps forward toward real fool your brain level virtual reality technology. Hey, shopping for a new car and looking for something with a bit of dash and power? Well, step right onto the lot and take this little gem for a spin. The new $3 million Bugatti Chiron, the new follow-up to the groundbreaking, but now kind of old, Bugatti Vera. What do you get for all that cash? World's luckiest car guy, Miles Bramman, got to not only touch the rolling sculpture, the owners were actually foolish enough to give him the keys to the quad-turbo, 16-cylinder, 1,500-horsepower chariot. What to do? Go fast, of course, and revel in all the luxury that you get for the equivalent of buying about 100 Honda Civics. Nothing exceeds like excess, so they say, and that's especially true at over 200 miles an hour. Wow. Check out Miles' full review and video at the link and start buying those lottery tickets. We've also got more tech news updates at digitaltrends.com as well as on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And be sure to subscribe to all of our podcasts in iTunes or wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.